Hello everybody, this is the Time Project. We are back. Part 5. Okay. This level was really hard. I remember this taking me a long time. And guess what? It's a goddamn... It's a goddamn maze level. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think this is the path. I think it's the right path. Yep, it is. And I'm actually gonna save state because I don't want this video to be like 15 hours long or something. Okay. Um, you know, recently I was actually thinking about, um, the caretaker again. Uh, you remember the caretaker and that really long, that, that video I did about him? Yeah, I've been thinking about him again. Um, and more likely, uh, ever, his uh, Everywhere at the End of Time album. And I've been, and like, you know, there was, I think there's a part I kind of glossed over in my initial video of, of on him, and that's the, uh, that's the Hell Sirens part. And like, because Hell, because the Hell Sirens are probably like, definitely the most, I think I may have mentioned it in the video, I don't know, I, I haven't watched it in a while. And maybe this is me getting dementia. Who knows? Um, but either way, the health, the health sirens part was like easily the most frightening part of the in, of the entire album. The album was already a pretty freaky album as is, but like the health sirens part, like it just it just felt like I mean I have to give it credit because like. I, because I heard the original sample, and it sound and it doesn't even sound close to threatening at all. Like I don't know how he was able to turn like the initial sample into the fucking Hell Sirens. Like that's fucking impressive. Okay, please, can we not? Can we not get hit by the? Okay. Great. But yeah, like, the original, like, audio recording, like, the original sample, it doesn't really sound threatening at all. Like, the, how he was able to turn that into Hell Sirens is very impressive. Because, like, I don't think I've heard a better vi audio, auditory representation of Hell Sirens than what was in that part of the, uh, Everywhere at the End of Time. Alright. Part World 7. This... I believe we're gonna start with some win. Yep. Oh boy. This is, uh... This is not a very easy world. As you can see. Um, I want to see, I want to get to World 8 in this one, and have, like, the last part just be World 8. And I, I think with safe stating, or safe scumming, I should be able to do it. So, like... Okay. Yeah, that's that's part of the problem here. But I think it's better if you just run along the top here. It makes it makes it easier. Well, that's not Okay, here's a little subsection. Um I haven't actually I haven't actually gotten or done a subsection yet. That's Kind of neat. Yeah, I, I did. I just realized I never went to a subsection in this series yet. I don't think that really skipped that much, but oh well. Um. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry about the commentary sucking, but you know, I guess that's just what you have to deal with. Ah, oh, how much progress is that? Okay, whatever. I lost so much there. What? Oh wait, that's not a lot of progress at all. I guess I didn't skip as much as I thought. Oh well. Alright, I have five minutes to beat three more levels. Can I do it? 
Let's see, because some of these can get pretty hard. I remember 7-3 being ridiculously fucking hard. Um, and only one life. Okay, I think this is a, the... I think this is another one of those, like, um... Like, I think this is another one of the, um... Yeah, it's another one of these. Basically, the level continues on forever. Is there, like, a fire flower? What? I mean, I don't, I don't even care, really. I'm just wasting time, really. Um... Fuck. Okay. I can do this. It's... You just gotta keep fucking moving. Just gotta keep fucking moving. And since the commentary is bad, you know, you know that, you know that I'm having, that I'm on a ball. Because, like, the commentary is so bad. Commentary in this one's bad, worse than usual. Oh, well. Um, because nothing really much is personal been happening in my life, I guess. I mean, at least did a subsection, because I haven't got- because I actually haven't done one of those yet. Alright. Okay, this is like- this is like- I'd say this is the- I don't know if I'd say it's the second hardest, but it's probably like one of the hardest levels to complete in the main game. You see how insane this is. You have to be very, very precise, because if you're not, then you- basically have to basically you just fall to your death it is stupidly difficult okay um the wind is a spe the dealing with the wind in this um dealing with the wind in this one is like s extremely weird and frustrating and you're in the air for most of it. You just have to launch yourself in the air for most of this goddamn level. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do a save state right here. And I think... Actually, I think in, like, there's actually another level called C-3. Um, it's basically just this level, but even harder. And the thing about that spring is that it some sometimes it just does not load. Like, it literally just doesn't load. Because because there's too many objects on screen, there's a lack of two that's chasing you. Like, you cannot go... Like, you literally... That spring will literally not load unless you kill the lack of two. Okay. I think I'm close to the end. Yep, there it is. And we're already eight minutes in, my god. We might actually do this. Okay. There, you can actually get one-ups on the um, flagpole in this game. It's pretty difficult. It's it's a lot of specifications, but it's it's doable. Okay. Um. I think there's a hidden block somewhere, or maybe that's C dash four, because this because um because I remember this level being very difficult. I think it's um. Because, like, C-4 is basic... Okay, there it is, and I missed it. Because C-4 is basically um, this level, but even harder. And in C-4, you literally cannot beat this level without... Um, it's literally impossible to beat this level without at least getting one hit. Like, you cannot... You have to get one hit to beat this level. Okay. Okay, I think I can beat this before the, like, 11 minute mark. Because, again, I don't like these videos being that long. <sighs> yeah, you can get a 1-up here with the uh, Koopa shell, but it's not really my concern. I really need to get a 1-up on the flagpoles, though. Because, like, those are, like... Because this is, like, the first game you can do it. I'm not sure how, because it's, like, you have to... Basically, basically, you have to, um, it has to be very specific with the time and score. Like, there has to be, like, a specified 
amount of conditions you have to meet, and it's pretty difficult to meet those conditions. I mean, it's not that. I guess it's not difficult, but it's a lot. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Okay. That's it for this video. Next time we go to World 8. And let me tell you, World 8 in this game is fucking hell. <laughs> and we have one life. But there's no checkpoints in World 8, so it's not like it matters anyway. Um... Sorry about the bad commentary, hopefully the next one will have better commentary, but either way, this has been Super Mario Bros. 2 Japan, and see you in the next part.